Well, the north side of Bay County also seeing quite a bit of damage this morning. Residents in Bayou George, Youngstown in the middle of cleaning up this hour. And yeah, interesting, Sam Granville tells how the Bayou George weather got that impact. Here's a look at the Bayhead community on the northeast side of Deer Point Lake in Bayou George early Tuesday morning. One local resident, Richard Brantley, whose house was severely damaged, says his morning took a dramatic turn. I started hearing the wind pick up really strong. And I'm like, well, that can't be good. So I go over and check, make sure I got my deadbolt set on the front door so it doesn't blow in. And next thing I know, the front windows on my house blow out. So I got all this stuff blowing in around me and I just stand by the door. <laughs> I don't move. Well, his house is still standing and the majority of his roof is still intact. Some of his neighbors were not so lucky. Upon leaving his shelter as dawn began to break, the landscape surrounding his home almost unrecognizable. There's my neighbor's boat right there. Uh, matter of fact, most of this stuff in the front yard is from across the street or maybe further on. I got a, a black refrigerator. I don't know where it came from. It's, it's sitting down there. Like many residents of the Panhandle, Brantley's point of reference for a storm, Category 5 Hurricane Michael in 2018. For him personally, he claims this was worse. Yeah, I've got way more damage than I did during the hurricane. I mean, it, I might have had like $10,000 worth of damage. There's way more than that going on here. Well, the cleanup efforts are only beginning for Brantley. He's just thankful to walk out of his home unharmed. I mean, there's a ton of work here, but I'm okay. And that's all you can ask for. In Bay County, Sam Granville, News 13, Panhandle Strong.